Do not adjust your listening device. What you are hearing is not a test. I repeat, not a test. This is a new music disc, a nether music disc. I am loving the song, <laughs> and I am loving that finally this has been done. A Minecraft community suggestion for a long time was to add nether music discs, and we have one. It is called Pig Step, and it's been composed by Lena Rain. And actually, if we just go and have a look at all the music discs together, of course, C418's name was on all of these, and now we have the name of the new artist on this one. A nice little detail, but let's get excited for a moment. We've got a new Nether music disc, and I can't wait to learn how this one is obtained. We'll be uh, talking about that in this snapshot video. We'll be checking out the new structure that's been added behind me. That's right, a whole new structure. And for the first two and a half minutes of this video, we are listening to the song in the background. So let me do my normal introduction now. Hello everyone, welcome back to another Minecraft update video. This is Snapshot 20W16A, and let's get into this one. First of all, we are over here in the overworld to check out a feature that's been added for both this dimension and the nether dimension. These are ruined portals. They can be found underground, under the sea, or buried in sand and they can be found in, I believe, all of the nether biomes. So you might be just doing a little bit of caving and then naturally stumble upon this. As you can see, magma blocks and netherrack have made their way into the overworld and the remnants of a portal that used to stand in this location is now here. It's almost like a little bit of a tutorial on how to get to the nether. There's even a gold block included which I find curious. But also, you may have noticed that there was a chest around the front here and you got a block of obsidian, some iron nuggets, a golden apple, golden pressure plate. Over here, a hoe with efficiency free. We're going to look at the loot table for this and then we're going to go and check out where this is generated in some other locations. Look at this. I found one underwater and oh my, the atmosphere here. It looks fantastic. Oh, and this is the part of the video where the music disc finishes. What a great song. Now if we apply a little night vision, you can see it's rather similar to before. This time though, the portal is more upright. There's two blocks of gold at the back and we've got the familiar formation of netherrack and magma blocks here. If we jump into this chest, you'll see I've actually arranged it to explain the loot table here. And you get, I think, between four and eight rolls of any of these types of items, right? So with a weight of 40, you can get these items and if they're numbered, it means between 9 and 8 and between 1 or 2 of those. Weight 15 is actually any type of golden armor or golden tool. It will be randomly enchanted. If that means you can get mending or not, I'm not entirely sure. Then with a weight of 5, the rarest of all, you can get these items between 4 to 12 golden carrots. And look at this. You can also get a notch apple. Except they're not called notch apples anymore. They're just enchanted golden apples. So here is one that I have found forming on the surface. Not so glamorous with the trees inside of it. Yeah, it's not the worst thing ever. Maybe they should add an exception to remove leaves and wood blocks, but otherwise this is a very cool thing to stumble across. Here is another one that I found underwater. This one is particularly interesting. You can see there's actually a stone structure around it with iron bars holding up. Later on in the video, we're actually going to check out all the different structures and the ways that this can generate. After exploring for a while, I'd say that these are fairly common in your world. There's probably a couple of them within every thousand by a thousand blocks. And this is the closest one that I found to being under the beach. It does mention you can find them buried in sand. And here's one that's generated in a snowy biome. I think it's a good touch that the snow goes over the netherrack here. It really kind of blends into the environment and feels like it's been there for some time. And despite being a part of the structure, you can see that the crying obsidian can't be used to create a portal. I don't know if that would be something they'll add in the future. Now, from what I could tell, it doesn't feel like these link with ones that are in the equivalent position in the overworld. But check this out. A real nice touch. As you can see, the blocks have been swapped for their blackstone equivalents here in the nether. So where we are going next, I've got a feeling we're about to see a new block that's added in this snapshot. And it is the chain block. Let's craft a bunch of these. You saw the recipe right there. An iron ingot, two iron nuggets. This is, you know, pretty much what you would expect. A really nice texture, a really great detail that builders are going to take full advantage of. And what's interesting about this is you can actually leave it floating. So it can just sort of stay wherever it is. 
And I didn't expect this, but it's also movable with pistons. Yeah, I would have really have expected that to have popped off. And no surprises here, you can attach lanterns to it and then it all makes sense that the textures line and match perfectly. That's pretty much what they're intended for right there. And that's about it for the chain block actually. I, I can't think of anything else to investigate with this one. So you saw it at the beginning of this video and we are now going to check out the Bastion Remnants. This is a new structure added into the Never. There are actually four different types of this and of the ones I've seen so far, they all look very ruinous just like this one right here. And inside of these structures you can find the music disc that we listened to in the beginning of the video. You can get the Piglin banner pattern that you saw in the last snapshot video and also we saw the Gilded Blackstone and I have found them generating inside of these structures. But if we go into spectator mode, you can see it actually generates through the nether. It goes down underground with what feel like caves, and that's where the gilded, uh, the gilded blackstone can be found. There are also loot chests. We're going to investigate all of this stuff. There is so much to be learned at this point in time. And let's have a quick flick through some of the loot chests. You can see enchanted crossbow and gilded blackstone can be found in here. There are random blocks of gold to be looted, and we've got another chest here with some enchanted items, soul speed free. And over here, a double loot chest. Wow, the jackpot, look at that. The record disc, bone blocks in here. Enchanted books, ah, oh, there's the piglin banner and you get chains in here. I've just gotta say it, I have never felt this excited in a long time. Oh my goodness me, wow. What have we just stumbled upon? This is simply beautiful. What an amazing structure to find inside of Minecraft, my goodness me. So in just a moment we are going to see the four different types of structures that can generate in their full glory thanks to Nimbom MC, who shared with me his carpet mod for the snapshot and a way to get the game to generate these structures in a flat world so we can see the full layout and all of that. But first of all I've gone through the four different types of loot chests that are available. So I kind of want to blitz my way through this. I'll be hovering my mouse over all of the icons so you can pick up on the details if you really need them. In this first one we have one roll for the lodestone so that means you're always going to get that. There are between one to two rolls for all of these items and the quantities are written in here. Occasionally there are some uh, interesting details and then two to four rolls for each of these items. The Bastion Hoglin Stable is one of those because you can get damaged tools inside of here. This one will be randomly enchanted or you might get this one which is enchanted and randomly damaged as well. So there is one roll of this. These have a weight of 10 and this has a weight of 15 and sometimes, you know, between 2 and 4 gold. Down here, 3 to 4 rolls of all of these different items and here are all of the quantities. In Bastillion Other, the complexity picks up a little bit here. You have one roll for these items, a weight of... 5 at the bottom here, a weight at 10 at the top. This is randomly enchanted and damaged. And these are the other items you can get. Then you have two rolls of all of these right here, including enchanted with soul speed boots and a soul speed book. And then three to five rolls of these items. And you can see the quantities are quite generous. And the loot here is pretty reasonable. And Bastillion treasure is even more generous still. You have two to four rolls of all of these items. As you can see, the numbers are quite high, between 8 and 23 quarts. And then you have one roll for this up the top here. All of these items have a weight of 10, and then these ones have a weight of 5. And the randomly enchanted and damaged netherite armor and sword, they appear twice in both of the loot tables. I don't know if that's a bug or not. Okay, we get to take a look at them now, and there are four different types. The bridge, the hoglin stable, the housing units, and treasure room. And I'll let it be your guess, because it'll be as good as mine. I don't actually know which of the four we're looking at is which, but this is the very first one. And just due to the way it generates, it's going to put it partially underground, which is probably how you're going to find it in the nether, right? Partially submerged in the terrain. Here is our second one. This one is a lot more open from up above. As you can see, you can kind of look down into what's going on over here. Let's actually have a look through the blocks. You can see that lots of piglins and hoglins, they spawn in with the structures and now they're fighting one another. And uh, yeah, underneath this big structure though, there's loads of like caves and the occasional loot chest inside of it. Now this one has got to be my favorite. Look at this, absolutely crazy. I really like what 
Moyang have done here. This one is probably the bridge, right? Because you've got the lava underneath and then you've got a bridge going through into this area. And this is actually very similar to where we were a moment ago, right? The big square room with bridges going across it and little platforms extended out. Let's take a step back here and look at it through the X-ray view. Yeah, really remarkable structure. The fourth and final one is probably the most detailed like. I almost feel like there's a skull-like shape looking at me as I approach it here. And I kind of realize now this one too sort of has a bridge leading into it. So maybe this is the bridge structure. Who knows? But once again, it is really impressive. I'm loving the style of building here. And if we go underground, you can see this one doesn't have quite as much down here. But it's got those similar caves with the occasional loot chest in. Now you can find these structures in all of the nether biomes except the basalt deltas which I think is a smart decision because the structure itself would probably blend more into that one and anyway I've made myself a little bridge here and if you haven't noticed I'm now in survival because supposedly the piglins might be hostile to intruders so I've decided to come in here wearing a full set of golden armor and hopefully I'll be able to walk among them. So we seem to be good. What happens if I take this off? Am I going to regret that? Yes, I am. I'm, I'm, I'm dead. No, I'm alive. <laughs> Let's put it back on. Okay, now what happens if I take loot from the chest? They shouldn't like this. I'm raiding. I'm raiding their things. Are you angry at me now? I think you are. You're going to hit me. Yep, there you go. Okay. And what about their precious gilded block? Uh, I think you were going to attack me and then you picked it up. <laughs> Let's try that again. Oh, yep, okay, yep. Yep, they don't like you picking up that block. Okay, so more changes in this snapshot. The basalt deltas have been changed to be more deltery by having more lava around. And you can kind of actually see that. And it helps illuminate the biome really well. This is actually a fantastic change. I think it somehow looks even better now. Now, earlier in the video, I mentioned that we would get to see all of the portal structures that can generate into your world. As you can see, the structure files don't include the mess of netherrack around the bottom. But there are 10 different types, and then these are probably rarer because I haven't seen them at all. But there are three large types of portal that can generate as well. And over here on the website, we have technical changes, and I'm not even going to pretend that I understand what's going on here, but if you use the jigsaw block, there's some functionality added to that. And there's also this JMX monitoring that has something to do with the tick rate of a server. This can actually be quite useful, as tick rate is something you want to keep your eye on to prevent lag on a Minecraft server. And you might have noticed this on the changelog we were looking at a second ago. The structure block now supports a region that is 48 blocks in all direction where it used to be just 32 and I've got a feeling that might have something to do with the new structures they've added but you know bigger structure files is better Now, when it comes to bug fixes this snapshot there are two things to talk about every player would have encountered this weird bug where you log into a world and you hear the sound of a minecart really loud and I don't know how to recreate that but I've heard it plenty of times apparently in this one it's fixed and the other thing of significance is the lodestone and the lodestone compass. There seems to be a lot of bugs related to this, but they generally seem to just be fixing things that got broken in the last couple of snapshots. So no major changes there. And that is everything that I'm covering in this snapshot video. So if you've enjoyed it, please do leave a like. I want to say thanks to Plagiatus for helping us out with the world that had the nether portals in. And also to Nembom for showing me how to get his carpet mod to create these structures so we could see all four of them. Really do appreciate the help. And uh, yeah, that's it. So I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.